All right, so moving on to our final presentation, uh, we have uh, the CEO of Cana Verde, Michael Nestoresco. Perfect. I just, <laughs> yeah. Hello, Perfect. welcome, Michael. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank you everyone for your time today. Um, good afternoon or good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for those of us on the East Coast. Um, my name is Michael Nestoresco. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Cana Verde Pharma. So if I can share the screen here um, and we can go in through the quick presentation. Perfect, so Cana Verde Pharma is a Canadian domiciled, low cost, high quality producer of medical cannabis with operations in Colombia um, through our wholly owned subsidiary called Green Health Colombia. So over the last two and a half years, we have spent a great deal of time um, getting all the licenses and permits in place. So now we can sit in front of you and state that we have received licenses to cultivate, extract, manufacture, domestically distribute, and export both CBD and THC-based medical extracts. Further to that, we have registered eight cultivars with varying CBD, THC, and CBG profiles with the Colombian Agricultural Institute and can now begin commercial cultivation of these cultivars. We have another 57 additional strains that are going through the documentation process, and those will be available to us shortly, and we'll be able to cultivate those as well. I don't have to tell you guys that Colombia is the perfect place to grow cannabis, or one of the, the best places to grow cannabis, and we have access to a massive opportunity in Latin America. So there's 68 million qualifying patients within, within Latin America. So we have a, a very large market and we feel that Colombia is best, best place to be able to take advantage of those opportunities. Uh, we have a terrific team. I wanted to highlight three individuals, specifically Yvonne Osmar, Chief Medical Officer, who's a graduate of both Harvard and Johns Hopkins. He's done uh, medical trials, FDA monitor clinical trials. Um, and he is terrific in terms of, in terms of uh, medicine in Colombia. I wanted to highlight Dr. Carlos Ujoa, who's the former team physician for the Colombian national soccer team, as well as the Olympic team, the Tennis Federation and the Copa America team. Um, Javier Patino used to be the CEO of Yambal, which is a very large CPG company within the country. And further to that, he was the gentleman on the team that brought Gatorade uh, when he was with Quaker Oats in Latin America. And of course, we have other very, very talented people on our team. This is the biggest project that we're working on is with the Foscal Group. Foscal is the largest tertiary care center in Colombia. They have 410 hospital beds, 350 medical specialists, and 300 medical consultants. The goal here is to place a cannabis clinic within this hospital and get thousands of patients that would be able to have access to cannabis-based medication. We're also in Santander, which is the health cluster within Colombia. We have partnered with two other companies, Saludar, which is a group of doctors that provide um, prescriptions in, in alternative medicine, and Medical Precision Care, which is an Invima registered master pharmacy that is in the process of obtaining an extension to cannabis. So this would be one of, we believe, three pharmacies within the country that will be able to write CBD, THC, CBG-based cannabis prescriptions. Further to that, we have partnered with JGB, which is a consumer packaged goods company. They have a thousand employees out of Cali. So the goal here is to integrate CBD into existing product lines, as well as to bring new product lines to market within, within the CBD space. We have other contracts in place with Nova Science for CBD for pets, with Promi, with, uh, with a white label company that will allow us to bring other products to market. So we have the distribution and the ability for us to, to bring CBD-based products with well-known companies within Latin America. We've also signed definitive agreements for delivery of flour and distillate or isolate. We have a current contract to be delivered in 2021 for two and a half million US dollars that translates into 3.25 million Canadian. Um, and we have signed LOIs and definitive agreement with other companies to bring forth CBD-based medication uh, and CBD-based products. So to date, um, our capital structure looks um, like this. So shares outstanding about 12 million shares at a 60 cent valuation for about $7.2 million valuation. We've issued debentures uh, for a $3 million. Um, so those are outstanding as well. The debentures look exactly like this, which is a two year debenture that yields 10% per year 
and it's payable either the IPO, the go public transaction or maturity date. It's got a forced conversion into equity of 60 cents per share. We have raised to date $5.2 million and we're searching today for uh, an additional five to $10 million to complete all of the things that we have set out to do. So this includes the proprietary medical markets with the Formula Magistral in Colombia. We've received fantastic news recently out of Colombia that insurance companies will now cover medical prescription of cannabis, uh, whether it be private insurance, whether it be government insurance. Um, so the, this, this amount of capital will be able to assist the doctors in the clinics, medical precision care will be able to now issue prescription-based medication. So we want to allocate some capital to that. The GMP compliant extraction facility to give us access to not only Colombia, but Latin America, specifically Brazil, Mexico, Chile, Peru. Um, we have had conversations with, with doctors and pharmacies in all of these jurisdictions for us to be able those products to market and also the JV agreements uh, in terms of the CBD wellness programs. Um, so it is a two and a half year old process uh, that we're now uh, ready to generate revenues. So it is, it is uh, we, we've basically spent a great deal of time through the licensing process and we are now uh, generating revenues. We had our first sale uh, about a few weeks ago of CBD based distillate. We are about to harvest about 230 kilograms of dry flour CBD and CBG dominant. So that will be ready in the next few weeks as we finish off the year. Um, and in the new year, we will begin with the THC quota. We've already received one on the scientific side to be able to take all these cultivars through the, uh, through the, uh, through the registration process. Uh, but will we be uh, asking for a quota for commercial cultivation, uh, commercial extraction, um, and with medical precision care and the Foscal group, we plan to bring forth medical prescriptions. The goal is 10,000 patients within 2021. The average spend per patient would be about 50 US dollars a month for a total of 600 US dollars per year, giving us revenues of about 6 million US dollars in 2021. So that is the goal for us as a company. I wanna be able to, to, to talk about the Colombian market just on its own given that there are 5.6 million patients in total with a variety of conditions, and they spent $22 billion on healthcare in 2017, 50 million population. So for us to be able to get 10,000 patients in 2021 is a very achievable goal. We've had conversations with doctors um, and, and we, we had a, um, a recent event for a hundred doctors all willing and able and ready to prescribe medication. And now we have one of the few compounding pharmacies in the whole country that can begin writing prescription medication. And we're anticipating that to happen in uh, the early part of January of 2021. Um, thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to any questions you may have. Thanks, Michael. Really strong work, really strong. Um, Terry, why don't we start with you? Because I know we couldn't get to your question in the last presentation. Uh, no problem. Uh, Michael, since you guys just had your first production at the greenhouse, do you know exactly what you guys are producing per square foot and also what your cogs are to produce that? Yeah, so uh, so basically we, we the way we do it, we do it per, per plant uh, or per square meter. So what we've done in, in our evaluation, we did it in pots. Um, so we achieved about 60 to 80 grams per plant. However, we have changed our strategy to go directly in the ground within the greenhouse. And we are now with an extra two weeks in the plant life, we're getting 400 to 500 grams per plant. Um, so the cost of production is very low. Obviously, as we increase our economies of scale, we're in, we're in about 51,000 square feet. We're about to go to 80 uh, within the next week. So as we scale up to 400,000 square feet, we anticipate production costs of below 10 cents. And we are focusing on the higher, higher revenue targets, basically THC, CBG. We feel that CBD is not the right move for us as we move forward into the space, as you know, some of the bigger producers, not only in Colombia, but elsewhere, they achieve cost of three cents or below that. Um, so, so perfect, perfect conditions. Uh, we're in the, the best place to grow cannabis. We're 1700 meters above sea level. We're in the safest area in Colombia, uh, Bucaramanga, um, and we have fantastic economics um, that the way we see. 
Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Carol? Um, thank you, Michael. Excellent presentation. Uh, well, uh, we have been, our firm have been very actively looking for opportunities in Colombia since 2016, uh, pretty much uh, right away when all legalization happens. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed uh, regarding the LOIs that you're showing. I would like to hear more about that partnership that, that you have with uh, JBG. Uh, this is one of the biggest. Uh, I think it's the biggest partnership I have seen so far for the cannabis industry in the country. So if you can, if you can tell us some details, and also I would like to hear the milestones that you would like to reach with um, with the funding that you're asking. Perfect. Yeah. So we're, we're very very excited. So we we've 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 we partnered with Foscal. We've partnered with Saludar and Medical Precision Care, and we've partnered with JGB. These are three fantastic names in the industry. JGB being a massive company and having the ability to bring products that consumers have been enjoying for years. So JGB has been around since the late 1800s. So we're not starting a product from scratch, but we're starting to, to put CBD in products that consumers know and love. And JGB was voted one of the best CPG companies in the space a few years ago. The Foscal Hospital is obviously one of the biggest hospitals in Colombia, and we are excited to partner with them as we get to our target of 10,000 patients within 2021. So those are the general milestones. We've grown organically and we haven't built the very large facilities that we see now in Canada and elsewhere being closed. We think that 80,000 square feet is perfect space for now. As we grow that, as we grow further, we have the ability to scale up very fast as everything's prepared for us to be able to do so. Um, so the organic growth has been there. Um, and as we transition, the main goals now is revenue creation. We have spent the, the last two and a half years on the licensing and the permits, we do not require any more licenses or permits. So now it's a rinse and repeat process in terms of revenue generation. And we focused on three different segments of the revenue. So medical prescriptions and formulations, um, CBD based products um, and flour and oil and, and isolate sales within the country. So the goal is to now get 10,000 patients within 2021, um, get the product launches for with our partners um, and now to start creating revenues as Colombia has finally um, gotten in line with the rest of the, the, the world in terms of actually having a great path to revenue, which is something that a few years ago that was not there. 